All right, guys, what's up? It's Ambor's new video, and I will be doing this talking, walking head video because I have a topic in my mind which you inspired me. And I actually, I'm sorry, I don't know who from you did it because I just cannot find this. But you asked me underneath the video if I can do a video about what I really think it's a family show. And I'm thinking since then about how to make this video, how to approach this topic in the way that I wouldn't look like a bigotry homophobe person which is very hard to avoid in such topic when it's casted in and you might ask yourself like why why what is this what is this how how it's possible that you think like this like I think we are living at the era <laughs> you must be very very careful how you say things without meaning it bad for not them to look really, really bad. Which is scary, but it's also a truth. So I, I think I will do a lot of uh, pauses in this video and I don't know how it will actually after all look. I will try to give you as much natural as it's possible and also to be somehow good. So first of all, it's a show stripped out of politics, but it's very hard nowadays or maybe any any other day any other day any other days because politics are everywhere it's impossible to avoid but it's very hard or it's very easy not to bring more in and it's not obvious i think it was happening on every international or even domestic shows mostly when some awards are gift let some of the artists or some of the nominees or some of the winners, they have the urge to speak up some topic which they feel for themselves. It's very important and maybe also important for the society, you know, to create this discussion. But more likely and most likely, this feedback from it, and it doesn't matter if it's the opinion you like or is it the opinion you dislike, but most likely those topics backfire because they are used on very wrong place even it feels this is the best possible way where you should speak up, right? Because it's uh, everybody sees it. But why it backfires? Because people don't watch those shows for being told what they should think. Because you must understand that the whole family concept is not just the way that uh, it's like just funny without an opinion and so on. No, it's more likely about the fact that you're doing the show for everyone. That means people you agree with, but also the people you don't agree at all with. That when we are doing a show for masses, for everybody, approachable under some brand, it's not our personal brand like this YouTube where I can basically say whatever if I'm still in some rules of you know what YouTube can allow me. But when I'm doing it for the big TV, it's entertainment format claiming that its format is for everybody. That means that I must respect that also people with completely different opinion than me will watch it. And I'm not there to tell them what to do, what to think. For this, I have my own channels, I have my own ways. I don't have entertainment show to educate other people what sh they should think and it doesn't matter if it's the LGBT community if it's the conflict between Israel and Palestine or Russia and Ukraine this is just not what entertainment shows are kind of made of even we tend to we tend to put some our ideas into it of course it always depends on the context and now there we come to the another thing why Eurovision should stay even more apolitical and be much more by the books of what entertainment show means rather and much more precisely than the shows we are used to produce in our own domestic market because at least we know the context of our own market but do Swedes know the context for example of country like Romania which also people would like to watch Eurovision or Czechia or Ukraine or Greece do they know it I don't think so I think Europe it's extremely diverse it's culturally very diverse 
we are very close to each other but also in details very far away for example here in Romania LGBT I think in general queer people gay people don't don't really have it easy in here for various cultural reasons and because and that's why I was thinking about it a lot that we are living in the in the era where all of this is open information open and everything and if still there are countries who are not really open to this topic I think Eurovision wouldn't really change it actually I think now we get to the verge when it's happening the opposite because I think it postponed the educational purpose which some producers try to push like we need to educate the society we need to show the society what is the right way we must show the openness but it doesn't work it doesn't work there are people who just don't want to listen to this anymore they just want to have fun and just don't push this to me just don't do it I, I agree with it or I don't agree with it and this is what I think family program should do even much more when it's widespread as Eurovision because it talks to so many cultures so many societies with so many different differences different differences so many differences it's not the show where you boo the artist this is a stupid thing to do this is something what can ruin the contest and it's not that some country you don't like is there there are many countries who don't like each other it will happen now it's israel next time it will be somebody else we just must understand that we are doing entertainment show because then it's not for all family it's just for a specific group of people and doesn't matter what kind of people it is, what kind of organization it is, what kind of sexuality it has. It's not important. Important is that if you go this way, you're streaming one way opinion to the world, whole society who don't really feel that there is only one relevant opinion or way of thinking and it will never work it will only create backfire only only a clash and backfire and for eurovision this is toxic we must be open-minded which means many op options are relevant if they are supported by facts but i think we don't need to push this into the show it don't belong we can discuss in the comments below and this is what i will ask you for and of course don't worry to subscribe to the channel, don't worry. Just subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video and become a member because in the section there are many surprises waiting for you. So see you there. Thank you for watching. Bye.